everybody, this is Ted Check, recovering reporter. Kamala Harris <laughs> has not given, uh, has not really taken questions from the media other than a one-off here or there. Uh, she hasn't held a news conference, press conference. Uh, she hasn't taken, you know, she hasn't stood before the media and taken questions. She hasn't sat down with anybody from any of the media since she was, well, I mean, some would call it a coup or others would call it, well, just that Joe Biden stepped down, uh, you know, um, benevolent uh, as he is and, and allowed her to uh, to get the nomination. However, however you look, you you want to look at it. However, it went, you think it went down, but it's been thirty, I believe, thirty-three or thirty-four days since that happened, and she has she has virtually not has had no interaction with the media uh, directly, even to the point. And now this is ten days ago. CNN, of all places, I mean, a left-leaning CNN was getting upset over this. So so here's Jim Acosta, who is public enemy number one in Trump's eyes. He he and Trump were uh, the biggest of adversaries during Trump's time in office. But uh, let, let's see what Jim Acosta has to say. And th this guy over here is a uh, Kamala Harris uh, spokesman. Uh, would it kill you guys to have a press conference? Why hasn't she had a press conference? <laughs> Listen, lies. the vice president and Governor Walls uh, have been busy crisscrossing this country since uh, the launch of this campaign and adding a governor. This guy thinks it's funny. He thinks it's funny that, uh, you know, uh, that, that that he's being asked this question uh, uh, about as legit as you can get a legitimate question by, by a network that more than likely wholeheartedly supports Kamala Harris. But yet, the, you know, it's a, it, like I, I think I said before in another video, it's like it's a it's like a lack of respect. I think they uh, they're like, look, CNN's like, look, we're, we're here to support you, but you got to throw us a frickin bone every now and then. You know what I'm saying? Give us a sit down. Walls to the ticket. You saw the ways in which uh, they went to across the battleground states last week, uh, generating rallies of of thousands, 10,000 here, 15,000 there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But, but Michael, you know, a campaign do, rally uh, is not a press board, conference. I, yeah. Do you mind if I cut in? I mean, you know, a campaign rally is not a press conference. Why is not she at a press conference? She's the vice president. She can handle the questions. Why not do it? Good for Acosta to, to push it. Oh, we absolutely are going to do it. You hear her take questions as she's out on the stump. And she's, as she said last week, uh, we're going to be having a sit down interview here before the end of the month. Uh, what she's going to be focused on and what this campaign is going to be focused on is communicating directly with the voters that are actually going to decide the pathway to 270 electoral votes. votes. That's why she. I mean, I, I think it's I think it's possible to do both. So what what uh, what can we conclude other than uh, this is by design that, uh, you know, I mean, you can believe who you want to believe. You know, some would say that's her weakness, that she has trouble. Uh, taking questions, you know, doing, uh, you know, essentially uh, uh, improv or, or, you know, just taking spontaneous questions uh, when, when she's not reading off the teleprompter, that that's her weakness. Um, I mean, it, what else are we to conclude? Uh, Pete, more recently, Peter Ducey, because that was 10 days ago, 10 days ago, Peter Ducey from Fox uh, was able to get off one question. To her, if this is after uh, her speech, play. Madam Vice President, Hi. congratulations. Hi. Are you ready for your Fox News? <laughs> 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 A two-parter here, Joe. Uh, will we see a Kamala Fox interview? But bigger. So they're working. To, oh, ha 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 ha! We're working towards it. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, Ducey was very cordial there, but uh, there was definitely. I, I would say, you know, uh, it was definitely a serious question. When are you going to have a Fox interview, any interview, anyone, even softball networks like CNN and MSNBC? When are you going to have any interview? I mean, yeah, it would be great if she would uh, jump into the lion's den and, and you know, go to Fox, but um, probably not. Let's let's be honest. Let's be realistic here. Probably not. Um, but, yeah, this is just... It's kind of unprecedented. I don't know. Uh, somebody out there, help me out. I I don't know that. Well, the whole coup thing, that is uh, that's 
fairly unprecedented as well. Um, yeah, so I'm just, you know, I'm just wondering how, how long, how long can they, uh, can they go? How low can you go? How long can, can they last? How many days can they stretch it out? You know, is there some, some date that they're waiting for? uh to do it or i mean are they are they you know there's there's such a thing as over preparing i mean look at look at what happened to joe biden now you could say that was his cognitive thing but he you know he prepared for like a week straight for that debate um so that so this there is uh, i i think uh something to be said for over preparing if she is in fact preparing at all maybe she's not you know but uh working towards it is 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 what she said hmm are they really? Are you really? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I mean, when you when you have uh, mainstream media like CNN getting getting frustrated and angry, um, that really does say something right there, now, doesn't it? Let me know your thoughts, and I will talk to you later.